Hi there, I'm Carolyn Dickerson from LookGreatLoseWeightSaveMoney.com. Today's edition is going to be How to Spiral Curl Your Hair. I've had a couple of requests and I wanted to go ahead and squeeze this video in or get this video in before I start on the exercise videos. Before you start any curling um, process, you should have start with clean, dry hair. Now, if you want to put any mousse or gels in your hair to help hold the curls, you should apply this to damp hair and then blow dry those into your hair before you even start. So I'm assuming that you've got clean and dry hair. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do for, more, for a more professional look is to straighten your hair. And a straightening iron comes in real handy if you can just straighten your hair out before you start, you're going to get a more professional looking curl. And the next thing that you're going to want to do before you start is to get your curling irons really good and hot. And you're not, you're not going to form really good curls if you haven't got a hot curling iron. The curling irons that have the temperature gauge on them are the best, but if you've just got the ones that have the on and off button, they're fine too. There are a couple of ways that you can spiral curl your hair. You can either use a regular curling iron, and this is my old school curling iron, because <clears throat> I plugged the other iron in that I had, and um, it finally saw its last day. So I'm going to be ordering some, a new one from drugstore.com, my favorite shopping place. And this is a spiral curling iron that I picked up from drugstore.com. And it's <clears throat> the best one. I like this one best. So we're going to use the spiral curling iron first to show you how um, to get the spiral curls in your hair. Now, you're going to start with one single piece. And you may have layers in it or not. It doesn't matter. And you just smooth down the cuticle of your hair. and start as near to the bottom as you can. And then you're just going to start winding your hair up. And it will start falling into the little grooves that you see. and then you're just going to hold it. Now this curling iron has several temperature gauges on it and <clears throat> I um, really like it because I, if I need it I can turn the heat up. If I don't want that much heat I can turn it down. And you're just going to wait a few minutes. Now I didn't put any mousse in my hair. I don't like a lot of gels or mousse in my hair. I don't mind using hairsprays but I'm not real big on gels and mousses anymore. So, but you use whatever products that you like. And then you're just going to start unwinding it. And I like to unwind it like this because it holds the spiral curl in my hair. And there it is, as you can see. And that's really nice. Well, the curling iron's hot and we're ready to go. And this is just on a regular iron. It's not got the spring on it um, like you're used to, but this is the kind that um, I learned how to use in massage, I mean in cosmetology school. And um, you just take the hair, grab it, and then I like these irons a lot because uh, they swivel and um, so you don't ever miss a beat. And you just wind the hair up. And this is plenty hot now. And you're just going to hold it for a minute and feel the heat. And it is hot. And there's my nice spiral curl. Now, alternately, you can also, I'm running out of hair to use here, um, you can also take your, your hair strands and 
you can grab the hair. And you don't have to grab right at the very end. You can grab near the end and then just wind it. probably sitting too high on each other. And you're going to get a really loose looking curl, but it's different looking. And you don't have to, and not everything has to look the same. And let's try another piece. In fact, let's just make this piece smaller. And instead of lining on top of each other, I'm going to kind of make a figure eight here. Maybe. And this probably hasn't been in long enough. And maybe. And there you go. And that's that's pretty nice looking. And that's different looking. And you can see the ends are not curled, and it just gives it um, kind of a, an unfinished, finished look. I don't know how else to explain it. Let's see if we can do one more. And that gives kind of an interesting looking curl. So that's it for today. And I hope you got some, some um, useful tips out of this. Of course, when you finish uh, curling your hair, I'm going to need to do the other side and the back now. But um, when you finish your hair, you, should, you can um, pick out or take the curls and then separate them if you want so that you've got, you know, lots of different curls going on. You can combine different uh, swirl patterns. Um, it's anything goes. And then you finish off with some hairspray to set it, and you're ready to go. Um, so that's it for today. I'm Carolyn Dickerson from Look Great, Lose Weight, SaveMoney.com. This edition has been How to Spiral Curl Hair. Ciao for now.